you can leave it up. That's fine. Right. Only had some video available to him that he could show them. You indicated earlier that your uh, law enforcement experience was in the state of Oregon. Is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. You have never worked as a law enforcement officer in the state of Wisconsin? No, I've not. And you were retained by the Does defense. Does flow differently uh, in Wisconsin? Expert in this case, correct? Yes, sir. And you are well, it does in uh, yes, my cousin Benny. What is your hourly rate? Um, the, uh, it varies somewhere between 600. for certain tasks, $160 an hour, and other tasks up to $480 an hour. And for your testimony here right they now, always bring up how much they pay him. Uh, always. An hour? No, sorry, I'm billing it right. It shows he's a hired gun. $320 an hour to be here in court? That's right. How much are you charging the finger? You don't get paid by those uh, He only gets paid like 63 grand a year, actually. You he's a 43 page CV. indicated you that you think it's when you time the gap in time between what we are referring to as the Zeminski shot, that's the first gunshot in the incident between the defendant and Joseph Rosenbaum. You're, you're familiar with what I'm talking about? Yes, sir, I am. The time between that and the defendant's first shot at Joseph Rosenbaum, you timed that at, I believe you said, about two, two and four. three quarters seconds. Is that correct? And I can bring it up exactly if you want. Yeah, could you do that? Hey, and by the way, expert, play the video, despite the fact that Richard didn't ask you to, so we can just see it in 2.75 seconds. Mm -hmm. have... So here you can see the first shot over here where my cursor is moving at 24.61. Someone, 24. the... Someone on Twitter said... Shot... Here that Binger should just say uh, no cross five. and let it rest because it so was so boring. If you go said, Don't worry, Binger will find a way to talk himself out of winning. And I can take a look at my <laughs> notes. Yeah, I was going to say. Two. So again, approximately. Two this is a war of attrition of terrible about. attorneys. <laughs> they're, they're both fighting each other's cases. And <laughs> you have also broken down the gap in time between the defendant's fourth shot to Joseph Rosenbaum and the time in which that first person comes up behind him and swings at his head. Do you understand those two events that I'm describing? Swings at his um, head, he doesn't kick. If, if it's helpful, your observation, so on the list of observations you have, observation 11 is shot number four to Joseph Rosenbaum. Do you see that? Right, so if I understand correctly, we're asking for the time between 11 and 15? Yes. Okay. Binger's gonna allow this expert to really clarify what he ought to have done in chief. Mm -hmm. Critical mistakes. Me, he should have hit his. I'm about to bring my calculator up in front of the screen for you guys. He should have hit his rates or whatever, and then just ended it. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Not even the rates. Everybody and knows that they're getting paid. It's, it would be weirder if they weren't getting paid. Were they doing it? Well, hold on though. Vendetta? Well, the jury doesn't necessarily know that. This may be their first time serving on a jury. And the Maybe thing is, first that... time with a with an expert witness. And juries always begrudge experts how much they're getting paid because mm -hmm. you know if you've got somebody who's working and making a hundred bucks a day, and they hear that this guy's making three hundred bucks an hour, they're like, "Wait, you made how much to sit here today?" They shouldn't have paid him per hour. So rough math again, about one minute, 48 seconds thereabouts. Should have paid him so by the frame. It takes approximately one minute and 48 <laughs> well, Binger's about to go frame by frame, I bet you. The defendant shoots Joseph Rosenbaum the fourth time and the time that the first person on the street makes, shall we say, Kicks him in the head. With Mr. You, you can and say I it. apologize. I, no, I, the swing I is the first the time between oh. number 14. Um, so the time between... And just to make sure we're correct, 15 is the observation you're referring to, correct? Yes. And the time between observation 11? Yes. If, if it's helpful, Doctor, I'm doing rough math in my head. It appears to be roughly 59 seconds, about a minute. Uh, Would that sound about right? <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, Binger. <laughs> so about a minute passes between. Oh, Nick. As I was oh, oh, Nick. Come on. What did you do? Come on. This was the most, most interesting. This is the problem with PBS. God, they were the they were the chosen one. They were supposed to be the one that was working. Let's let's, let's do a fun drive for PBS. <laughs> uh, just a second. You played a video in association with Observation 16. Do you have the ability to access that video on the screens right now? I do, sir. Do you have the ability to show us metadata associated with this video? This is the stuff you didn't want in there. The metadata is right now. Do you right know there. who recorded this video? I'd have to go take a look for the um, the initial video that I took it out from. It will be in my notes. Do you have those notes with you? I'd, I'd have to go into the digital notes on this in front of everybody. But I can find it for you, and it will be included in the report that was asked for earlier. Okay. Let's come back to that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's keep going. And you also played Are we for questioning us authenticity now, Binger? A one quarter speed video. Well, the second incident of 
Stephen Colbert. The second incident is the one that, for the purposes of describing it, we're talking about the second incident being the one in which the defendant fires two shots at an unknown assailant who's trying to kick him in the face, one shot into the chest of Anthony Huber, and one shot into the arm of Gage Grosskreutz. That's the second event that we're talking about, correct? Correct. And if we're talking about that, would be the start of the video that you saw. And this is a video that we've also referred to as the BG on the scene video. Is that right? Uh, yeah, BGO on the scene. Yes, okay. sir. And you had the ability to show us this video zoomed in and at one quarter speed. Is that right? Uh, well, it's not zoomed in as you see it here, but yes, I gave that. Ability. Sorry to hear that. Do you have the ability with your software to do that as it plays? As it plays, yes, sir. Okay. So, for example, um, the one that's up on the screen right now, that is the normal speed version? Or is this the slowed down? That would be the slowed and the, the, the light levels have been also been yeah, enhanced. Okay. And the version that we've got on the screen right now, that's one quarter speed? That would be one quarter speed, yes, sir. And is this video that you've got on the screen something where you could play it for us right now, Regular speed. starting at the point we see on the screen, all the way past where the defendant shoots Mr. Grosskreutz at yep. one quarter speed? Yes, sir, I can. Can you do that for us, please? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good Lord, long crime has just turned up really loud. We get a lot of background fuzz. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, nothing self defensey looking about this. I mean, anybody looking at that and thinking he wasn't afraid for his life. Grab the gun. Skateboard on the head. Start to run. Head. Surrounded. Oh, look at gross Can you voice. pause here, please, Doctor? At this moment in the video, do you have the ability to zoom in so that we can see even clearer the area between the defendant and Mr. Grossbrooks? Oh, look, his hands on the gun. If you move it maybe just a little bit to the right, so oh, you can also, okay. yeah, right ahead. Is that, is that something oh, yeah, where yeah, you'll yeah, be able to keep on, the video pile, centered on that location? Um, I can, it, you'll see me moving to do it, but I can do it as I'm moving. There'll be a little bit of a jag. It's not going to be smooth. Would you be able to play from this point and try and keep it in as zoomed as clear, as close as possible so we can see the defendant, Mr. Grossbrooks? Do you understand what I'm asking? The goal yeah. would be to keep this and this in frame at the speed that's being played. Yes. Yeah. Could you do that for us, please? I swear to you, Binger is... is... See his gun. Yep. Pointed down. Hands up. Sideways. Hands coming down. See, that was this. Oh, this. now's my chance. And no re rack. It's not no re rack. His hand. Coming forward. Keep his hand. Pause right there, please. Oh. Dust him. Look at the guy Why in the back. Why would you do that? Just think of what that guy in the back has just been sprayed with. Now, Dr. Black, um, <laughs> Arm. if I can look at Arm. your exhibit 142. You, can actually you see have a number of observation there. points there. I think there are a total of 31 of them on this list. Do you have that in front of you still? Why did Binger think that would help the prosecution? Okay. And I don't know. No. I have no idea. This is his first day. Come on. Observation <laughs> point number eight is the first he was shot this that the defendant fires at uh, Joseph Rosenbaum. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And determined and observation number 26 is the final shot that the defendant fires at Mr. Grosskreutz, correct? Also correct. Can you tell us the amount of time that passes between the first shot, uh, observation number eight, to Joseph Rosenbaum, and the final shot to Mr. Grosskreutz, which is observation number 26? Oh, it's going to be a minute and 45 seconds? I can again, or so, and just make sure that I have the numbers again. We're looking for item four, observation 26, correct, as a stop point. Is that correct, sir? Yes. Okay. And your start point one more time, please. Uh, observation eight. eight. To observation 26. Who's doing the math? A minute, a minute and 44 seconds. Oh, Joe? flexing your cool Canadian math mm -hmm. skills. Oh, Joe, you're wrong. Minute and 20 seconds. What, what, huh? Oh, you're wrong. In that one minute and approximately one minute and 20 seconds, the defendant fires all eight shots that we see. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That was you indicated also, uh, you've measured the time um, between the first, the, the two shots that the defendant fires at the person who jumps and tries to kick him in the face. Yes, sir. And you indicated that the gap between that first shot to that individual and the second shot to that individual was 0 0.602 seconds. Yes, sir. So approximately six tenths of a second. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you also have the ability with uh, the software that you're using to um, give us the data that's generated by that software. There's a separate report you can generate as part of that. Is that fair to say? For part of it, what's referred to as a workflow report. So basically, 
the actions that I took upon a piece of video, the workflow, whether it's enlargement or uh, these type of things, those can be generated. And do you have the ability to generate that here today if you wanted to? It would take a little bit of time. I can generate it. I just, I wouldn't say that I could generate the day. I'd have to do it during the evening, but I can get them generated. Okay, and that would show us the work that you've done to modify, edit, or, or do anything to the videos that we're showing in this, uh, and what you've testified to so far, correct? Yes, between the notes, as in if I write down a parent file, and then this was changed from 30 frames per second to seven and a half, using nearest neighbor with a crop like this, I'd be able to do that. Okay. And uh, you indicated earlier that you're uh, being paid hourly for this. How much in, in total so far have you billed the defense for the work you've done in this case? 12,000. Uh, estimated probably um, a little over $9,000. Your Honor, yeah, we asked earlier for some data that he can generate for us. I'd like to see that before I finish my examination of this witness. Someone in the chat says, thank goodness Kyle has Binger. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Okay. Well, uh, we'll put out a different witness while that's happening. Is that acceptable? Yes, thank you. 9,000 is, is not all that much. Mr. Really. Philip Ellison, no. uh, Michigan attorney extraordinaire. How's it going, sir? Not too bad. How are you guys? I've been enjoying watching you guys rip on these poor litigators here on their first day of work. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur hour. I, I saw you argue.